What is the one thing do you wish you knew about Charleston before you moved to Charleston? So here we are, this is December. We're at the Firefly Distillery in North Charleston at an event. And it's not just any event, it's an event filled with agents. And I thought, well, what better place to ask a bunch of people what they thought about Charleston than real estate agents. And today we have an agent joining us right now. And what's your name? Master Bynes. Master Bynes, how are you doing today, man? Everything's great, and yourself? I'm doing just great. I'm, I'm kind of melting in this, in this weather here. It's a little bit unusual for December. Yes, it is. But but, you know, that's what um, Charleston is about. You know, it has great weather and we got 10 months of good weather. So that's so that's a beautiful thing. Well, it is a beautiful thing. And let me ask you this. What one thing do you wish that you knew before you moved to Charleston? One, th one thing I wish I knew was um, uh, I would say the cost of living. The cost of living, and is it surprisingly high or low for you? As of right now, um, it's very, it's much more affordable from you know living up north in New York. So okay, and you're from New York? Yes, I am. And how long have you been here? Going on 20 years. Okay, so you're kind of used to this now. Yes, I am. So now continuing on with our questions of agents that live here in Charleston, I've come across yet another agent, and what's your name? Valerie, Valerie Frazier. Hi, Valerie. How are you today? I'm great. I'm great. Good to see you. Nice to see you, too. How long have you lived here in Charleston? Uh, 30 plus years. 30 New plus City, years. New York City. I was dragged here kicking and screaming, but I fell in love with Charleston. Wow. From New York City. There's a lot of New Yorkers out here. Oh, yeah. Why, why wouldn't they want to come? <laughs> <laughs> what would be the one thing that you wish you knew about Charleston before coming here? I don't think there's anything that I could have known before coming here that would have made a difference. I came just before Hurricane Hugo, and after Hurricane Hugo, everything changed. The landscape changed, the amount of people came, you know, that, that changed. The whole culture just elevated right from there from the rebirth of Charleston. So yes, here we are yet again. We have found someone else here at the event that I wanted to get her opinion about as well. Hi, what's your name? Jane French. Hi, Jane. How are you today? I'm doing great. Thank you. Well, great. Let me ask you a question. How long have you lived here in Charleston? So I came here, um, the Navy transferred me here, so 2014. What's the one thing you wish you knew about Charleston before you got here? Oh, gosh. Um... I don't know, maybe the traffic or um, or maybe all the great restaurant choices. <laughs> yeah. So you like the restaurants? I do, I do. Do you have yeah. a favorite? I don't think I have a favorite. I mean, um, Eli's, Eli's would probably be one of my favorites, you okay. know, and then the one in Mount Pleasant that I'm thinking of, I, I can't recall their name but I know where they are, I know how to get there. <laughs> and that's the important thing. So I found another victim, I mean, pigeon, I mean, another person here at the event. She was a little reluctant to stop by, but that's okay. We talked to her and said, hi, what's your name? Yvette Di Maria. Hi, Yvette, how are you doing today? I'm great, how are you? I'm doing pretty awesome. It's a beautiful day here, it's oh, unbelievable. This is why we live here. <laughs> this is why we love Charleston. What is the one thing that you wish you knew about Charleston before you moved here? Well, that's hard because you're talking to a Southerner. So I grew up in Alabama, so I've known Charleston my whole life. I've been here before because my father was in the military. So um, nothing. <laughs> I mean, I love it. Although the growth here and the infrastructure has, has gotten a little bit, um, a, you know, a lot of traffic. So um, when people come here and they don't understand that Charleston isn't the sleepy little town it used to be, we're growing. And I love the growth. Um, it gives my family so much opportunity opportunity. My daughter um, wants to become a marine biologist and she's had the most wonderful high school education at Academic Magnet High School. I mean it's been a public high school um, with no tuition but it's a private high school education. The education here, I know a lot of people sometimes are a little bit hesitant about it. They, they don't know a lot oh, about talk it. Talk to me. <laughs> talk to me because I'm a mother who raised four kids 
and um, three of them they're all they've all got great jobs three three boys are out adulting one's in California one is in Savannah Georgia at International Paper which is a great job um, the other one is going back to school from the military to get his physical therapy at Duke University wow. um, so and my daughter you know has been accepted to Alabama University USC um, uh, Coastal Carolina University uh, more colleges there's eight of them that have already accepted her so we're here at the distillery still and I've like tracked down some more agents because well no one knows Charleston like agents do so um, who do I have the pleasure of speaking with now Angela Dyer hi Angela how are you doing hi great Great. So how long have you been here in Charleston? I've been here since 2014. 2014. So about eight years or yes. so. Okay, great. What would be the one thing that you wish you knew about before you moved to Charleston? It is heaven on earth and I should have moved faster. <laughs> <laughs> do you work for the Chamber of Commerce? <laughs> I know it sounds like I do, don't I? <laughs> so I'm here yet with another real estate agent from this event and I wanted to ask her some questions as well. What's your name, please? Darlana. Darlana. How long have you lived in Charleston? 30 years. 30 years, so you're pretty much like a local. Yes. What is one thing that you wish you knew about Charleston before you moved to Charleston? I wish I knew to buy real estate faster because the appreciation rate's 4.3%, which means you can double your investment every 14.4 years. And that's exactly what I've done since I was 30 years old. And that's how you put 10,000 down in an FHA loan. You become a millionaire by the age of 60 if you start at 25. Yes, and she'll be doing a free seminar on this <laughs> note. Just kidding. As we continue on, I have tackled yet another real estate agent here at this event. But again, no one knows Charleston better than real estate agents. So I thought it'd be a perfect opportunity to bring you their opinions today. So here I am with yet another very dapper looking fellow. Um, I could tell you we typically don't dress like this in Charleston on a daily basis, but anyway, today is a special event and who do I have the pleasure of talking with now? I'm Seth Ryan. Seth, and um, how long have you lived in Charleston? I've lived here, I grew up here, so I guess 37 years. You're the one. <laughs> yeah, the one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, this, you know, you just kind of blew a couple of my questions, but let me ask you this, what is your favorite thing to do here in Charleston? Man, I love uh, just getting downtown and getting lost, just walking in the streets and soaking in the history. Okay, so not only this time did I track down a real estate agent, I tracked down his boss as well. And this is? This is Jackson, this is my boss, Jackson Salmon. And why don't you tell everyone your name? My name is Blake Salmons. Okay, Blake. So how long have you lived here in Charleston? Uh, four years. Four years, and where did you move from? Uh, we were a military family, so all over, but originally Texas. What is the one thing mm -hmm. that you wish you knew about Charleston before you moved here? Ooh, um, that's hard just to choose one thing. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right. I'm gonna cheat. The food, food is incredible. The beer is incredible. You didn't know about the food before you got here. Well, I had a taste of it, but I had no idea that they were known for so much great food. Um, the brewery scene, incredible, but I, I really didn't realize the amount of, uh, I, so I, I'm gonna cheat and say my, the thing I wish I had known is how much outdoor lifestyle activity there is. Like that, that really kind of, um, gave us uh, another sense of hobby and different things that we get into. To be honest, there's so much family orientation with like people accepting loud kids, you know, in the restaurant. So I think for us, it's just being able to go out and with a large family and not be judged. There you have it. Right from the mouths of real estate agents here in Charleston. What is the one thing that they wish they knew about Charleston before moving here? Well, what is the one thing that you wish you knew about Charleston before moving here? Well, and if you haven't moved here yet, what's the one thing that you want to know about Charleston before moving here? Just put them down below in the comments and I'll get to each and every one of them. And if you want to learn more about Charleston, then you'll definitely want to check out this video right here.